In this video, we will try the markdown elements used when developing web applications with Python Streamlit. To support us, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video. We created a virtual environment in the previous lesson. If you have not watched the previous video, I recommend you proceed by following the playlist. I open the terminal to start the web server. I open command prompt. I need to code the server start command in the ven file. I go to the ven folder. You can start the server using this code. Go to local URL in any browser. Texts appear on the web page. Now let's try markdown elements. I created a title with a hashtag. You need to save it for the code to be reflected on the web page. You can create a subheading using double hashtags. Notice that as the number of hashtags increases, the title size decreases. This website has detailed information about markdown elements. I will add the address of the site to the description section of the video. Let's try the bold feature. I add a double star. Printed in turtle bold. Let's try the italic feature. Turtle printed in italic. Let's try the block quote feature. I delete the star. Let's try the ordered list feature. Let's try the code feature. I am creating a string. I will use the code function instead of markdown. I am sending the string variable to the code function. A copyable block has been created. Let's try the horizontal rule feature. Let's try the link feature. I will make a redirect to the Google website. When I click it, it redirects to the Google website. Let's try the table feature. I am creating a string variable. You can create tables this way. Let's try the JSON feature. I am creating a JSON variable. I'm adding a few records to it. I am sending the variable to the JSON function. A JSON representation has been added to the web page.
Let's try using emojis. You can add text containing emojis this way. In this video, we learned how to use markdown elements. To support us, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video.